All right, so we're back once again with another box. Why don't we open it up and see what's inside? Let's get started. So I got this box today. It's another random mystery box of uh, CDs. But unfortunately when it came, as you can probably see, and I wish you were here to smell, it's not in the greatest shape. So I've got bad feelings about this, but We'll open it up, see what's inside anyway. This is actually the bottom. I set it down this way because this part is so... waterlogged. I have a feeling that what's inside is pretty much going to be ruined, but I guess let's just find out. And apparently it's either some kind of cleaning thing or it was some kind of perfume because it smells horrible. And as you can see, or maybe you can't, I don't know. Yeah, turn this light out. There's definitely some sort of stuff all over these discs, but... Oh, and the smell is just super strong perfumey, so... Well, why don't we just go through it here? We'll see what we got, and we'll go from there. All right, so I had to get rid of that box. I'm... I took everything out of the box. I tried not to look at anything. You know, I don't want to be as surprised as everybody else is, but um, that thing just smelled so bad. It was like somebody had a bottle of perfume or something that shattered, and it just poured all over the, the entire thing. I'm going to see if I can air these discs out, too. Maybe leave them outside for a few days, because they, they don't smell as bad as a box does, but they definitely have that smell. I don't know if it's perfume or cleaner what what was in that box but anyway so just a quick overview this is another mystery box of uh, 100 cds um, they are completely random according to the seller i'll put the link in the down in the description below if anybody's interested and if it's still available but there's quite a few of these on uh, ebay of varying types some of them they just show you what, you know, it's like a bundle. Some of them are mystery. So, um, but this one was, uh, I think twenty nine ninety nine shipped. So, uh, again, basically 30 cents per CD. So we'll just go ahead and go through these. I'm not going to go into much detail. Um, maybe some of the other ones I'll, you know, some of the good ones I'll put aside and we'll kind of go over them at the end, but, uh, let's just run through these pretty quickly. Um, just to start, we got our classical weekend classics, Puccini Weekend. Just the back side of it, if you're so inclined. And then another weekend classes, Rachmaninoff. I think that's correct. So two classical right out of the gate. Next one is Laura Smith. Can't say I've heard of her before, but just real quick. Let's see these that I 
took out of the box. They all seem the cases all seem to be pretty good, so I don't think anything got damaged. Okay, Mandy Patinkin. Is that and we've got black eyed peas, monkey business. Eric Clapton Unplugged, which is apparently Kelly's. Uh, Avenge Sevenfold City of Evil. So, so far, not too bad. Black Sabbath's Greatest Hits, 1970-1978. It's a nice little compilation there. Don't say that I can't say I've heard this one before. I think it's a new release. It's on Rhino Records. So, And then we've got The Best of Eric Clapton. Next one, well, I'm going <laughs> to, I don't think there's, Blind Faith, um, the original cover on it, another one of Kelly's, this is a great album, favorite songs from the Slow Jams collection. They see Orco. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Let's groove. Is that a compilation? Yeah, it's CBS Special Products. I was going to say the track list on there looks. Let's groove. Magnetic Shining Star. Pride September. Can I get you in my life? Yeah. Okay, and next one, George Winston, Piano Solos, December. We got Brick Benton, Endlessly, CD2, Greatest Hits. Dedicated to you, Joni James. Ah, this one's for CD cases. Really been kind of beat up. 16 Biggest Hits, John Denver. Somebody apparently likes Some Days Are Diamonds, Some Days Are Stone. And we got the best of Tom Jones. We got One Republic. Dreaming Out Loud. Uh, Enigma, The Cross of Changes. Archive Production, Christmas Concertos. Ah, here's Brooke Benton, Endlessly Greatest Hits, CD3. I well, thought that might have been CD1, but oh well. Next one here, this one looks a little... Waterlogged. I think it was like that before. Winter Lewd. Instrumentals for a Contemplative Christmas. And we've got Metallica Reload. The busted up case. Let's see what the disc looks like there. Oh, that's not good. Oops. Okay, and we got Motown Legends Volume 3. That's a pretty good one. We got some Luther Vandross. 
Always forever. Always and forever classics. Romantic Piano, A Love Affair, Volume 2. Romantic Piano, A Love Affair, Volume 3. I'm starting to see a pattern here. The great, every great Motown hit of Marvin Gaye. Ah, here we go. Volume 4, Romantic Piano, A Love Affair, Volume 4. And favorite love songs from the Slow Jams collection. We've got, uh, looks like Drive by Alan Jackson. Lefty Frizzell stepping out. A lot of music for just one disc. And we've got the 60s original NBC motion picture soundtrack. Andreas Vollenweider. Four. Excelsior Records, a classic love affair. Supernatural from Santana. Good shape. We have Believe by Disturbed. And Chemical Brothers Surrender. Uh, Incubus Make Yourself. G Love and Special Sauce. Totally 80s. It says double, so it's two CD. Yep. Too bad it's broken. This one actually doesn't look too bad if it's original artists on there. It's Warner Special Products, so I think it razor and tight. So probably is. Ah, romantic piano. A Love Affair Volume 1, and the circle is complete. And we got an Elvis Presley, it's Christmas time. Another Christmas album, Christmas in the Country. We got Cool Tracks 3. Claudia Russell. Song food. Never heard of it. Any of these I say I never heard of, if they're any good, let me know in the comments below. This one is called The Piano by Michael Nyman. Another one I've never heard of. L.A. Guitar Quartet Dances from Renaissance to Nutcracker. Absolute 80s from Entertainment Weekly. Looks like another two disc set. Shakespeare, the greatest hits. It's odd. Okay. Tchaikovsky's Symphony Number no. 6. 
and Romeo and Juliet. And let's see here, we got Buster Rhymes, Big Bang. Uh, and here we go. Brooke Benton, Endlessly Greatest Hits, CD1. No idea who Brooke Bentley is. Somebody really likes to point out the songs that they like on Arrow. Got the Burl Ives, All My Best. Magic Moments. Two disc set. Looks like it's a love song type ballad compilation. Let's see, Toto, Air Supply, REO Speedwagon, Phil Collins. Again, probably not a bad compilation if it's original song. Uh, another Enigma, MCM XC, AD. Limp. Biscuit. Rock and Park 2000. I'm, there's a DVD and an audio CD. That's all I know. Uh, Wolf Mother. Another one I'm not familiar with. Unleashed by Toby Keith. A few of these I've had, but most of these I don't have. And there's some of them that I'm kind of glad I got them. Sattler Brothers. Classic country there. Then you got the Ames Brothers. Twenty thousand recipes. Elvis Presley commemorative issue, the number one hits. Andy Williams Christmas album. All right, we got one more stack to go through here, so let's get through these pretty quickly. Trina Corinna. Soundtrack, I guess, a movie. Badfish, a tribute to Sublime Live 05. Another G11 special sauce. Lee Armstrong's Greatest Hits. Somebody going crazy with the arrows again. Lefty's 20 Golden Hits. Lefty Frizzell. Let's see. You think there's going to be arrows on the back of this one? Yep. So let's get a busted case. Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker. Okay. Christmas with the London Brass. Peaceful Christmas. Celine Dion, these are special times. Singing Birds. Nature's relaxing sounds. 13 ways to bleed on stage, cold. Reggae nights. John Lennon collection. That doesn't look too bad. 
case is broken though. Power Man 5000, Mega Kung Fu Radio. Dreaming Musical Soundscapes. Original Motion Picture Soundtrack to Shine. MPEG Movie. The Golden Age of Steam Engines on the Railroad Documentary. And Murray's Greatest Hits. And of course, Danny's song would have to be on there. Josh Groban's Christmas Album. A lot of Christmas albums in here. And yet another one. Clay Aiken's Merry Christmas with Love. Chopin. For some reason, somebody scrolled out the... I don't know. Further Than Heaven, Billy Joel. Sublime. Didn't we have a tribute to Sublime? Now we got the real thing. Oh, and there's no disc in that one. Carly Rae Jepsen, Call Me Maybe. Finger 11, Them Versus You Versus Me. The pie tasters are strapped live. Jazz club guitar. Welcome to the jazz club. It's not a compilation. <clears throat> Bunny Raid, Luck of the Draw. I don't think I have this one. Austin Powers. It's the original. Yep. First Austin Powers. Another Christmas album, this time featuring Neil Diamond. Golden Age of Rock and Roll, Volume 4. Billboard Top Rock and Roll Hits from 1969. That one's pretty beat up. This goes in there now. Julia Roberts, My Best Friend's Wedding. The Drifters, Golden Hits. And last, Lou Reed, New Sensations. I didn't count these, but I'll count them up real quick, see if we got 100 and I'll put out some of my ones that I'm interested in, so. Well, I counted 99, so totally got ripped off, man. No, just kidding, I probably counted wrong. But that's okay, I'll try counting again. But I just grabbed out some of the ones I say are probably some of the best ones, but out of this thing, if you see anything else, or if you saw anything else that you think I should check out, definitely leave it in the comments below. I had this a long time ago. I sold it because I also have Lennon Legend and I can't have two compilation John Lennon discs. Kind of pointless. Didn't have this. This is so stupid, but I don't know. 
probably watch that. Bonnie Raitt, that's a good one. It's totally 80s compilation. Probably keep that in the car or something. There's another absolute 80s. No idea about this one, but it, I'll tell you. I think it's worth keeping just because it looks cool. Definitely check that one out. Uh, the Elvis one, you know, it's Elvis. It's got all his number one hits. Incubus, I mean, they are what they are, but... Chemical Brothers, a couple of G-Love and Special Sauce. A couple of Eric Clapton's in there, I know. That's wrong. Uh, Buster Rhymes. I think I already have this, but that's all right. Still decent. Disturbed. Austin Powers, the 60 soundtrack. This Motown Legends, this Earth, Wind and Fire compilation. Black Eyed Peas, the uh, Blind Faith. That's such a good album. Avenged Sevenfold, Black Sabbath, and Best of Eric Clapton. So, I don't know, that's probably 20 out of 100 that I absolutely like. And there's more out of there that I'm going to keep. There's a bunch of compilations that I think I'll keep in that, but I think those are just kind of the best ones. But if you saw anything else out there that you like, let me know in the comments below. That's it for this one. Let me know what you think. If I should keep buying these or if total waste of money. I don't know if it's a total waste of money, but pretty close to it. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.